everyone good afternoon my name is esa trusty you are watching my beautiful channel love you science so in this lecture i am going to explain the concept of mesh analysis so what is mesh analysis it is a mathematical engineering tools or it is a mathematical engineering technique by using that technique we can simplify a complex network or we can find out current through various branches in less time so actually मेस क्या होता है मेस इज ए क्लोज पाथ विच कैन नॉट फर्दर डिवाइड सो टू एनालाइज मेस एनालिसिस और टू अंडरस्टैंड मेस एनालिसिस वी नीड टू रिमेम्बर दिस टू स्टेप द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज ईच मेस इज असाइन ए सेपरेट मेस करेंट विच विल बीन क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन मतलब यूल हैव टू एज्यूम द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करेंट इज इन क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन दैट इज योर एजम्सन और दैट दैट इज आवर एजम्सन दैट इज नॉट द एक्चुअल डायरेक्शन ऑफ करेंट so point number 1 remember we will have to assume the current in that mesh will be in clockwise direction second point is very important we have to apply kvl on that mesh so while applying kvl if there is a resistance in this circuit the potential drop will be always taken as negative potential drop matlab ir ir drop will be negative and if we have the voltage source in the circuit so for rise in potential it will be taken as positive for fall in potential it will be taken as negative but rise in potential kya hota hai dekho as i have told always we take in clockwise direction matlab we have less potential we are going from less potential to high potential matlab there will be rise in potential the potential drop potential will be taken as positive but in this case uh, we are, we have high potential we are going from high potential to low potential the pot fall in potential will be negative so let us understand the concept by taking a small example so small example i am taking here let us consider the circuit i have taken a small example there are two voltage source one is 10 volt and second is 5 volt and resistance is 2 ohm 3 ohm and 4 ohm we will find out current through various branches by using mesh analysis let us find out current through four ohm resistor the point number 1 what is the point number 1 we'll have to identify the mesh and each mesh is assigned as a separate mesh current so here we can clearly see there are two mesh iska naam de do a b c d e f so this one is first mesh like a b e f a let this current is i1 and the direction of current will be taken in clockwise direction Similarly, what is mesh number two? This one is mesh number T two B C D E B. Let this current is I two. I think first point is clear. Each mesh is assigned as a separate mesh. It's mesh number one and mesh number two, and the direction of current will be taken in clockwise direction. The second point will apply KVL on that mesh. So first mesh kya hai? A B E F A. See A B E F A. We'll apply KVL in that mesh. So while applying KVL in that mesh, KVL kya hota hai? Sum of potential or sum of voltage in a closed path will be zero. So from A to B, what is the resistor? Two ohm. What is the voltage drop? Two into I one. As I've told. For any resistor, potential drop will be taken as minus. So, मतलब here the potential drop will be minus two I one. मतलब it is minus of two I one. Clear? Next from B to E, B to E that four ohm branch is a common branch for both the mesh. For the common branch, you remember the current which will be taken in the primary mesh will be dominating over other current so what is the net current over here i1 minus i2 and what is the potential drop potential drop will be always taken as negative matlab minus of 4 into i1 minus i2 next next is e to f nothing is there leave it from f to a see we have less potential we have negative potential we are going from negative to positive potential matlab Rise in potential. The potential will be taken as positive. मतलब plus 10 will be zero. So that is KVL equation number one. This is equation number one. Similarly, we uh, we can apply KVL in the second mesh. What is the second mesh? Let it is B C B C D E and B. So while applying KVL in the second mesh, so B to C. What is the current I two? 
and it is in clockwise direction. What is the resistor 3 ohm? Potential drop will be minus of 3 I2. Resistor matlab potential drop will be minus. So here what is the potential drop? Minus of 3 I2. So matlab minus of 3 I2. Here then from C to D. C to D fall in potential ho raha hai. Positive to negative hum log aare. Matlab fall in potential minus of I. Next is D to E. D to E nothing is there. Leave it. Then E to B. E to B. E to B is the common branch for mesh number 2 and mesh number 1. Since we are considering mesh number 2 as our primary mesh. Since we are applying KVL here. So I2 will be dominating over I1. So what is the net current? I2 minus I1. And what is the potential drop? Minus. So matlab here it is minus I2 minus I1. Okay. Let me erase. One second. Okay, so it will be 4 into I2 minus I1 will be 0. Clear? So, here ho gaya aapka equation number 2. So, you have two equation, equation number 1, equation number 2. There are two unknown variable I1 and I2. So, you can solve this equation and get the answer. So, you can get I1 and I2. Okay? So now the point is, how do you know the direction of current? See, as I have told, we have taken I1 as in clockwise direction, I2 as in clockwise direction. Matlab, if I1 is coming positive, then TK current direction, actual direction of current will be from A to B. If I1 is coming negative, then current direction will be B to A. Similarly, for the second one. If I2 is coming positive, matlab current is current will flow from B to C. If it is coming negative, matlab from C to B. I think it is clear. Okay. So let us take another example. Okay, let me erase. Okay, let us take another example. C. So, we will have to simplify this circuit. Let it is 10 volt and it is 5 volt. This is 2 ohm, 3 ohm, 4 ohm. Let it is 20 volt and it is 2 ohm, it is 6 ohm. Let we will find out current through this 3 ohm register by using mass analysis. So, first point, we will have to identify the number of mass. So, here there are 3 mass, number of mass will be 3. And each mesh is assigned as a separate mesh current. So, what is the mesh current here? The first mesh current is I1, which will be in clockwise direction. Second will be I2, again in clockwise direction. Third will be I3, uh, same thing in clockwise direction. Right? So, then we will apply KVL. This can name de do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So, what is first mesh? First mesh is A, B, a B G H A A B G H A and we'll apply KVL in that mess. So A to B, what is the potential drop? Tell me what is the potential drop? Current is I1, potential resistor is resistance is 2. So potential drop will be minus 2 I1. See, resistance matlab potential drop will be negative. Again from B2, next is B to G. B to G that is a common branch for mess 1 and mess 2. What is the net current? I1 minus I2. And what is the potential drop? It will be again negative. So, it will be minus 6. I1 minus I2. G to H leave it. H to A. It is rising potential. Matlab rising potential. Rising potential matlab plus. So, it is 10 volt. Will be 0. So, here we get equation number 1. Similarly, we will apply KVL in the second mesh. Second mesh ke B, C, F, G, B. B, C, F, G, B. We will apply KVL. B to C, B to C kya hai? C, it is fall in potential, matlab minus 5. Next register is there 2 ohm, current is I2. So potential drop will be minus 2 into I2. Next from C to F, C to F, it is the common branch for mesh number 2 and 3. What is the net current? I2 minus I3. And what is the potential drop? It will be minus 3, I2 minus I3. 
एफ टू जी लिव इट जी टू बी वाइल कंसिडरिंग जी टू बी जी टू बी मतलब इट्स दिस ब्रांच इज कॉमन ब्रांच फॉर टू वन वन सो वट इज द नेट करेंट आई टू माइनस आई वन सिंस वी आर कंसिडरिंग आई मेस नंबर टू एज अ प्राइमरी मेस सो मतलब हियर इट विल बी माइनस ऑफ ओके मैं इरेज कर रहा हूं सॉरी सो इट विल बी वट माइनस ऑफ माइनस ऑफ सिक्स इन टू आई टू माइनस आई वन आई टू माइनस आई वन विल बी जीरो एंड थर्ड इज केवीएल विल अप्लाई इन दस सी डी ई एफ सी सो वट इज इक्वेशन वट इज इक्वेशन सी टू डी मतलब माइनस फोर ऑफ आई थ्री करेंट इज आई थ्री माइनस फोर आई थ्री अगेन इट इज राइज इन पोटेंशियल मतलब प्लस ट्वेंटी E to F leave it. F to C, F to C. That branch is common branch for for three and two. But what is the net current? I three minus I two. Since we are considering three as our primary mass, so minus. How much will be three into I three minus I two? Is it clear? So it will be zero. So you got three equation: equation number one, equation number two, and equation number three. Now you simplify. You solve this equation, and you can get the answer. There are three equation. There are three unknown variable. One is I one, second is I two, third is I three. So you can get the re result. So the best way to get the result use use calculator. It will take less time. Manual you can solve for a little more time. Like a matrix method, you can solve. You can get the answer by using that method. But my sincere advice to all of you use calculator. You can easily get the answer. Okay. So I think it is. Uh, Here, five question there are five question will solve here. First, you try pause the video and try करो to get the answer. Comment box में लिखो answer क्या है then cross check करो. ठीक है video को pause करके question solve करो. Okay done. Okay so ये uh, mass number one let current is I one mass number two current is I two. So we'll find out current in each branch by using mass analysis. इसका नाम दे दो ए बी सी डी ई एफ सो फर्स्ट इज ए बी मेस क्या है फर्स्ट मेस इज ए बी ई एफ ए के वी एल अप्लाई करो के वी एल अगर अप्लाई करोगे क्या मिलेगा माइनस ऑफ माइनस ऑफ फोर्टी आई वन नेक्स्ट इज द ब्रांच इज कॉमन ब्रांच माइनस ट्वेंटी आई वन माइनस आई टू देन ये लिव इट एफ टू ए Rise in potential plus one twenty will be zero. This is equation number one. Similarly, mass number two. Mass two kya hai? B C D E B C B C D E B B two C. What is the current I two? And what is the potential drop minus of sixty I two? And here C two D plus two minus matlab fall in potential minus sixty five D two E leave it E two B E two B that branch is common branch for two one. One, since we are considering two as our primary mass, we are applying KVL here. So net current is I two minus I one, and what is the potential drop? It will be negative. मतलब minus twenty I two minus I one will be zero. So you have two equation you can solve and get the answer. I think ये आपका answer है. You can cross check here. ठीक है. So next homework two. इसको pause करके solve करो. Take some time and solve it. ओके ठीक है मैं कुछ हिंट्स दे रहा हूं देखो ये मेस वन करंट इज आई वन मेस टू करंट आई टू मेस थ्री करंट आई थ्री ओनली आई एम राइटिंग द इक्वेशन ये मेस देखो ए बी नाम दे दो सी डी ई एफ जी एच तो फर्स्ट मेस क्या है ए बी एच ए ए सो ये क्या होगा माइनस ऑफ टू आई वन माइनस ऑफ थ्री I1 minus I2 ये कॉमन ब्रांच है, then plus 50 will be zero. Second मैं इस कंसीडर करो B C F G B देखो B C F G B and here rising potential मतलब plus five. Next here minus of four I2 and this one is minus of five I2 minus I3 and you leave it. For this, it will be I two minus I one. So, मतलब minus three I two minus I one will be zero. 
दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू थर्ड इक्वेशन देखो सी डी ई एफ ए सी डी ई एफ ए सो सी टू डी मतलब माइनस सिक्स आई थ्री राइज इन पोटेंशियल मतलब प्लस ट्वेंटी ई टू एफ लिविट एफ टू सी मतलब आई थ्री माइनस आई टू सो इट विल बी माइनस आई थ्री माइनस आई टू विल बी जीरो सो यू हैव थ्री इक्वेशन यू कैन सॉल्व इट एंड गेट दी आंसर ठीक है ये होमवर्क थ्री ये भी क्वेश्चन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है इसको सॉल्व करो ट्राई करके पॉज करो वीडियो को ट्राई करो कमेंट बॉक्स में आंसर लिखो देन आई क्रॉस वेरीफाइड ठीक है स्टार्ट करते लेट दिस पॉइंट इज ए बी सी डी ई एफ एंड जी सो लेट दिस वन इज फर्स्ट मेस आई वन सेकेंड मेस मेस करेंट आई टू Third mesh, mesh current I three. As I have told, always you have to take in clockwise direction. Then you apply K V in this mesh. First mesh kya hai? A B. Oh ho, iska naam de do H. A B H G A H G A. Ye mesh. What is the current A to B? Minus of minus of sixty I one. ठीक है? Next, this one is common for one and three. What is the net current I one minus I three? And potential drop is negative minus thirty I one minus I three. Okay. Then H two G common for one and two. Current will be I one minus I two, and it will be minus fifty I one minus I two. Next, it is fall in potential. मतलब minus twenty. मतलब minus twenty. Next again, it is rise in potential. Here it is rise in potential. मतलब plus hundred will be zero. ठीक है सेकेंड मेज देखो एच ई एफ जी एच एच ई एफ जी एच एच टू ई कॉमन फॉर टू वन थ्री सो पोटेंशियल भी माइनस फोर्टी आई टू माइनस आई थ्री आई टू माइनस आई थ्री नेक्स्ट ई टू एफ इट विल बी ओनली आई टू माइनस ऑफ टेन आई टू नेक्स्ट एफ टू जी इट इज राइज इन पोटेंशियल मतलब प्लस फिफ्टी Then G to H again rise in potential plus twenty, like plus twenty. Next for this one it is minus of fifty I two minus I one, minus fifty I two minus I one will be zero. And for th uh, third mess, considering C D E H C D E H B C B C. C to D. What is the current I three? Resistance twenty. It will be minus minus twenty I three. D to E limit. E to H. It is common from three. Common for three and two. Net current is I three minus I two. Potential drop will be negative. So minus forty I three minus I two. And here it is common for three and two. So it will be minus thirty I three minus I one. Minus thirty thirty I three minus I one will be zero. I think it is over. So you have three equation. By solving these three equation, you can get your answer. I one, I two, I three. ठीक है? देखो ये answer. बस चेक करो. Okay. So next is uh, if if we we'll get this kind of circuit, it's my current source. So how to uh, simplify this circuit? It's very easy. See, it is a current source having parallel with a resistor. Here also current source parallel with a resistor. So what what we can do? We can convert convert from current source to voltage source. Its name give do A, B, X and Y. So across X, A, A and X, we can have a voltage source with series with a resistor, right? So we can have a resistor here. Ten. Is in parallel with four. What is the potential here? You can convert current source to corresponding voltage source. Potential will be ten into four, forty volt. Take a plus minus symbol. Since arrow is upward, and resistance value will be fixed. Resistance value will be same. It is four ohm. Take a. Here, until I get. Means A and X mil get. These two point. Then similarly, B and Y across B and Y five and two. What is the potential here? Potential will be five into two is ten volt. Potential will be ten volt. Okay, and resistance. Resistance value will not change. Resistance will be two ohm. And this point is B. 
and this point is uh, y. Dekho, x and y is sorted. But from A to B, there is, there is a register and a potential. So, what I am erase kar raun. Matlab, ye point A hai, ye point B hai. Okay? So, we have a register and a potential of 2 volt minus and plus resistance is 3 ohm. So, now you can simplify the circuit. You can find out it is only one mesh. Only one mesh. So, our last question, dekho, isko voltage, current source ko voltage source mein convert kar do. 0.5 into 150. It is, I think, 75. So, voltage will be 75 volt. Okay. Then, resistance value will be fixed. 150. Next, yaha se A point mil gaya. A point. Then, A to B. Baki to thik hai na. E 50 ohm. Then, here, here it is 100 ohm. Yes or no? Then here it is 250 ohm. Next potential is 100 volt. But I can convert the circuit to this circuit because we have a current source parallel with a resistance. We can convert that current source to corresponding voltage source. For conversion thing, you remember the magnitude of resistance will not change. Only the magnitude of voltage will change. So now you can apply uh, uh, mesh analysis. Here there are how many mesh? Two mesh. Mesh number one and mesh number two. So you can get two equation. Nam de do A, B, C, D, E, F. So first mesh is A, B, E, F. A, B, E, F, A. Okay. A, B, E, F, A. So what is the resistance here? 150 plus 50, 200. So it will be minus 200 I1. Next B to E. It will be minus 100 I1 minus I2. I1 minus I2. E to F, leave it. F to A, it will be plus 75. So, it is plus 75 will be 0. Second mesh, dekho B, C, D, E, B. B to C, matlab, potential will be 2 minus 250 I2. So, here it is fall in potential, matlab, 100 minus 100. D to E, leave it. E to B. So, it is minus 100 I2 minus I1 will be 0. Okay, you have two equation. So, you solve for equation ka solve for and get this answer. Okay, dekho. Yes, sir. Final answer. Okay. So, I have concept bol diya. Calculation part is up to you. Calculation uh, better uh, what I would suggest to you is calculator to get the exact answer. I have to the concept bol diya. Kya -kya concept hai, how to write the equation that is most important. For writing the equation, you need to remember two things. So, assumption current direction will be taken is taken in clockwise direction, which is mesh current. And second is while applying KVL, potential drop will be negative if we have a register. And for uh, voltage source, rise in potential will be positive and fall in potential will be negative. So, with this, uh, I am ending this lecture. Hope you guys understood what I have explained. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you.